Where? Do you know what koro means? Like, he ga kureru koro? He ga kureru koro? He ga kureru koro. Koro is around... Hi. Uh, around the time or around the event, the place. Mm -hmm. Do you know what soro soro means? Soro soro. Uh, it's almost time? Yeah, mm -hmm. just about time. Perfect. Just about time. Uh, soro soro. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Hi. Ore wa mata onasuita. Mm, iyo. Soro soro machutsu shi rashi koto o shite mo i koro da. Shite mo i koro da. Shite from suru. Hi. Mo is the marker for also or to the extent of. Yeah. So, uh, it would, e koro is like it's okay. It's okay, roughly okay. Uh, koro okay. is not. It's a time about. It's a time phrase. So it's 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 a good time to do it. Hi. To do what? Uh. Soro soro majutsu shi ra shi koto. Um, the magician seems like it's the time the magician are going to have their meetings. Good guess. That's not what I'm saying. So koto is a, a word that means like event, basically things like I have a thing to do on Saturday. So the things to do that are that is good to do are things that are being described as majutsu shirashi. I have a magician-like thing to do on Saturday, right? That level of thing, not an object, not a magician-like doll, but an a magician-like activity to do, right? That's the meaning of thing in this context. So it's just about time that it'd be a good time to start doing something that's very magician-like. <laughs> Why do you think the mo is necessary for shite? You don't say shitei. That's just not grammar. You just don't. Um, e is either going to be temo e or a different if slash when statement. Um, why specifically they chose temo e versus a different one? Mm, it's because temo, right, is used when you're normally giving someone um, permission. It's not really a question of anything, right? Like, uh, Yondemoi means you can read it if you'd like, right? So it's kind of saying it would be good, right? It'd be great if you drank something. So it says even doing that would be good is a literal translation, but he's just saying it's a good good spot. In English, we just can't really translate the mo. It's just basically just to say it's showing how excited he is about this. He's adding stress to the thing, but it's because he needs either temo or neba or tara or any of those things and temo is the most best in this context so it's not really an if here it's a statement so so it's roughly it's the time it's about time to do the magician thing uh ore wa mata unazuita i once again, uh, Nazui, without meeting. Good guess. That, that is, that's right. Zu can mean without. So existing without is a theoretical possibility. However, you don't really say Zu Ita very often. Normally, you're going to have a real verb going on with Zu. So this is actually Unazuku. Unazuku. Mata Unazuku. Inazuku, Unazuku is um, to ask a question. Good guess. Unazuku is to nod. To nod. To nod, to nod. I nodded again. Again. Hi. 
Um, mm, yes, e yo, it's go, it's okay. He It's like, yeah, kind that sounds of saying fine. it's okay to do the spy thing. So then, Hi, hi, hi. further clarify by saying it's time for me to do the magician thing again. Yeah. Um, no again in the second one, though. So I nod again and say, yeah, yeah, it's it's about time for me to do something magician-like. Um, can you read this new word for me? Fusawashi. Perfect. So fusawashi means suitable. Hi, can you read this word for me? Perfect. What's the causative form to make someone transform? Saseru. Saseru. Hi. Let's go read this example sentence. Henshi no kyutsu to. E you know what? Pusawashi seki mono ni henshi tsaseru tutsu na no da. Hi, ikimono. Ikimono. Living thing. No ni. Do you know what this no is doing here? No, you know what? You know. We saw a couple examples of this earlier today with uh, Alana. I call this. It's the pronoun. Uh, yep. One pronoun one. In this case, right here, the one is referring to an inanimated object, which is jutsu. So you could just stick in jutsu here, spell, and then go backwards. The toy you is basically equal, the equal sign. Yes. Is. So the transformation spell is right. the spell that um, changes, causes what does Henshin mean? the living self transformation. Oh, no. Uh, uh, yes. Transform. Uh, human. Yeah, exactly. Self transformation. So it makes. Yourself transform, yes. Into what? None of that. He say none of that. He's explaining. He say yes. It is. Hi. Um. Uh. What transform? Um. Transform into. Hi. A mono. Hi. An ikimono. A living thing that is suitable. So Perfect. he gonna be transformed into an animal of some sort, not a human being for yes. the infiltration task. So, 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 exactly. Not Harry Potter going on here. Do you happen to remember how to read this word? Um, first word is to. Good guess. This starts with so. So. So, so, hi. And that is, Sozo means to imagine. Oh, sorry. Looked like my internet cut off on you. Ah. Yeah, it did. Sorry. Did you say what it was? <laughs> Whoops. I said like uh, a shape of a thing, but it wasn't. Good you guess. Said, yeah, it means imagination. Hi. To imagine an elephant. Uh, I don't think it's so. So for elephant. I think it's a zoo for elephant. One of these zoos is a statue. The other one is elephant. Can't tell you which. So yeah, to imagine. Um, can you read this word for me? Yo so. Perfect. Yo so. And so yo so basically means to imagine something, but like in a way, like to predict it, to have like a hypothesis type of idea. 
Um, let's go read the example sentence. Omae wa nani henshi shita dobutsu wa donna ikimono no daro? Ikimono daro? Hi. What kind of a living thing? Uh, what kind of a living thing? Yes. Uh, Do you know what daro should be translated animal. when we have a donna? Like we have a question word with a daro? I wonder. Yeah. Well, I wonder what kind of an animal. Hi. So if I was, but let's uh, go start here. Animal backwards. Omae wa yu nani en shishita mono wa kadobutsu wa the animal that is transformed into yeah the uh, you that is transformed into an animal so this is very confusing what's going on here relative clause wise so in a relative clause from the original sentence you can take out any noun and that includes a noun that was originally had a no <laughs> in front of it so it could be dobutsu no omae or dobutsu no nani something like that any of those would be like theoretically fine the idea of the dobutsu is that it's kind of connected to the nani in this context. So the animal that you will transform into. Really, I guess there shouldn't be a nani mean. It should just be like that. Um, since you don't really say dobutsu no nan, nan, na, nan no bidonna again. So I guess it should be like this. But it's the animal that you will transformation into. This is a... What? The animal that you shall be transformed into, I wonder what it would be. Perfect. I wonder what living thing it would be. This word right here ended with soul. You know what it started with? Yo. It did start with yo. Do you know what yo soul meant? Yo so is a imagining of the future yes. prediction. Perfect. Um let's go read this example sentence. Deshi ga nani hen shitsuru ka yo so ga tsukanai ma jutsu shi wa hen shi no jutsu o sukatta. Hi. Let's start with our subject. Wajutsu shiwa. The magicians. Yoso ga tsukanai. Tsukanai is, is, is cannot. Yes. Not, In this case, not, it comes uh, from to attach. The idea that the thoughts are attaching to you. So it says cannot imagine, not predict. Cannot predict. The magician that cannot predict uh, my the apprentice being changed into something. Hi. Yep. What the apprentice will change um, into? The magician that cannot predict the magician that cannot predict what the apprentice will change into. What did the magician do? Uh, he the that magician will use uses the um the uh, transformation spell. Hi. Do you know what sore zore means? Sore zore no bako. Sore zore. Sore zore no bako. Tada. Uh, one by one? Basically, that's very similar to um, one by one. It's it's more like um, each, but one by one is very close. Um, like uh, So it just means like each each box on their own, basically, which can be used like one on by one. Like here, it's basically one by one. It just says, sore zore no hako kara, ue no ho no dogu dake o toridasu, which you could translate as one by one, we take out the tools from the top level of, we take out the one, each box, <laughs> one by one, each of the boxes, 
we take out the top tools from the thing. But it's really just saying for each box there is, every single box, we're taking out the tools. Um, you know, so it's not really one by one, but it's it's similar to that in that we're separating each one into its own category. Any idea to read this word? Um, honshitsu. Honshitsu. Hai. Honshitsu. Perfect. So honshitsu should be like um, your original like origin, like nature of something, like um, personality or the like the quality something is made out of. Because hon is used for origin, right? And shitsu is like nature. Qualities of something. Wow, big sentence. Um, jiro jiro is a sound effect um, when you're using with looking at something that always makes you picture big eyes because it means to like scrutinize somebody to stare really hard at them so it's kind of similar to jitto um but yeah let's go read the line from the book が通感、変死の術とはそれぞれのものの本質にふさわしい生き物に変死させる術なのだ。ねばりは俺を朝が朝から朝から上上からしかまでチロチロと見ただがこぞ Oh, uh, well then, boy. Uh, that guy's more like however. Uh, however, boy. Oh my god, you. Nani henshi tsuru kawa. What will be turned into? Yoso ga tsukan. I'm guessing he's saying ga tsukanai. You yeah. cannot imagine what you will be turned into. Hi. Yep, uh, I cannot imagine what you could turn into. Hi. Henshi no jutsu to wa regarding the transformation spell. Sore zore no mono no. Um, uh, honjitsu. Honjitsu is like the true, right, Mani? Re the, the reality. In yeah. fact, your true character. Honjitsu ni fusa fusawa shi kimono no ni and she saserumo chutsu nanoda. Um, the the um, the transformations, uh, the, it will cause you to be transformed. The spell. It is a spell that will cause you to be transformed into a living thing that is suitable. Uh, uh, that is uh, that is the true character of each person. Yeah, it, that's the modifying the fusawashi basically part, making kind of like another um, relative clause in a way. So it's suitable in a way that it matches your character. And it's like the character of each person that the spell is being cast on, not like the spell caster, right? So each person's true character, that is what um, we use, the spell uses to decide what is a suitable animal to turn into by looking at who you are as a person. Right. <laughs> Chiro Chiro to me. He look at me. Uh, from uh from top to bottom. 
Perfect. Uh, and chido, it's chido, bottom... meaning like. Oh, I must have been delayed or something. Uh, is bottom <laughs> shita or shika? Shita. Shita, hi. Shika is dear. Shita made. And he's chiro chiro, he chiro chiro to. He, he looks like he looks in a um in a staring way. Like he looked very hi, attentively hi. with concentration. Hi. Can you read this word? Uh, it's sozo. Sozo. Hi, what, is, what did sozo mean? Sozo is imagination. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Oregado. Orega donna dobutsu ni naruka. What kind of animal I would be turned into? Uh, sozo shite rashi. I wonder. I imagine it. But he Rashi. So Rashi is the like most important. Seems like, yes. So seems like is a word to add vagueness to a sentence. Things do you uh not know information about yourself? Uh, no. You have to be speaking yeah, about you, the second person. Yes. So with the Rashi, you must be talking about somebody else because you know stuff about yourself. There's no reason to add vagueness to this. So somebody else must be doing the sozo shiteru because of the Rashi. Otherwise, it just would be sozo shiteru. Orega, donna dobuchi nera ka sozo shiteru, period, would mean, oh, what animal will you come, I become, I imagine, I'm imagining, or whatever. That, that would totally be possible. But the Rashi lets us know Ore is not the subject of the sentence. It's only the subject of the clause. So we're talking about Nevery. So what it, does it look like Nevery is doing? Nevery, um, it seems like Nevery can't, it seems like Nevery is imagining Hi. Um, what kind of an animal I would be turned into. Perfect, that's exactly what it's saying. And can you read this word for me? Yo so. Perfect. Um, so it looks like I want you to do this whole entire sentence from our past. Let's go read it. Ore wa soto de ren ga no kabi ni um hashi. Yo hashiru. Yori kakate. Yori. Kakate mata. Waited. I waited. Oh, waited. Hi. Uh, orewa. I waited. But he did something else as well. Hi. He yori kakata. This means to lean. I lean and waited against the wall. Hi. The wall Outside. where? Hi. And um then, ninga uh, means um brick. Brick wall. Can you read this word for me? Kowai. What does it mean? Kowai means um Kowai means uh, Kowai. Afraid. It means uh, scared. Kowai kawakata. Yeah. Scary. Look like you're sleepy too. <laughs> yeah. Lots of stuff. Sleep, sleep. It calls for me. Uh, can you read this word? Ude. Ude o kumu. Yep. Ko, uh, kumu, which becomes kumi. What does ude o kumu mean? Ude o kumi, crossing the arms. Yes, perfect. Put, put in the arms. This word meant oh, scare. Wow. Scared. Do you remember how to read it? Kowai, kowai. Perfect. Kowai, kowai. How do you say not scared in Japanese? Oh. Kowai. Kowakunai. Hi. Kowaku? Kowaku. 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 Kowaku
Go up the mountain. Let's go read this example sentence. Boakanai yoshi boa udeo konda the fearless uh, bodyguard process three on. Perfect. Do you know what unada means? Unada, unad. Uh, close. Unazuku is the nod. Unaru is something that would be in a hikui goi. Hikui goi. It's like he's screaming or he's yelling. Or... Good guess. Hikui means low, so it would be really hard to yell in a low voice. Unaru means to kind of grumble. But it's not really to make words, necessarily. It's more of the kind of like noises. Sometimes it can be translated as growl in certain contexts or even howl. Um, but it's more of a growling kind of kind of noise. Um, can you read this word? Fukigen. 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 Uh, no chance without chance. Good guess. Um, there is a word that means chance that's very similar to this. I think it's kikai though. Um, fukigen means to be in a bad mood rather than a good mood. What did unado yeah. mean? Unado is brow. Yeah. Can you remember how to read this word? Ah, uh, kakatte. Yep, yori kakatte. What did yori kakaru mean? Yori kakatte is to lean. To lean again. Perfect. To lean. And what did fukigen mean? Fukigen means bad mood. Perfect. So let's go read the line from the book. Fukigen. あ、怖くないよ。と言ったさ。あ、腕を本で。あ、こう、こう、こう、こんで。あ、風に寄りかかっていたね。ベネットが不機嫌そうになったI uh, in a bad mood Let's start I, with our I, first clause uh, I'm not afraid uh, when I say that, I crosses my arms. Good guess. And... So right here, after this comma, there's no comma here. And so we can assume we're talking about Bennett. I'm not afraid. And after I say that, Bennett, he leans against the wall and crosses his arms. Uh, with a bad mood, looks to be in a bad mood, and he he growl as if he right. he growl uh, like he's in a bad mood. Exactly. So in this context, he probably snorted would be the most common English phrase. Like, <clears throat> so it's just some kind of rough noise. So growling is normally good in that specific context. Snorting tends to be what we say in English or gruffed or whatever. Um, do you know what this word is? Uh, kirai. Perfect. Kaze. Do you know what a kaze is? This is a uh, cold. It is a cold. Uh, Perfect. Do you happen to know what the adverb hyoto means? First time we've seen it in this book. I don't know one. 
ちょっと means basically like possibly. And he like if by chance tends to be like how it's used. Specifically as ひょっとして So if it was like doing it probably is like if by chance. ひょっとして Um, let's go. Oh, do you know what koto ga aru means? Koto ga aru. Kaze kurai hita koto ga aru. Uh, if, if you've done that, if that had happened. Yeah, it's probably happened. The aru is from aru into probably form. Yes. Um, let's go read this example sentence. よくとして、髪の端で、指を切ったことがある。Uh, ことがある is like, it had happened, it, it existed, that、uh, the finger kita, the指を切った。I, I cut off the finger. Uh, well, I something the edge of a paper.、Hi. I cut my finger at, at、yes. my, by the edge of the paper. Yes.、Uh, it's possible. He thought that. It is possible. Yeah. I would translate、mm-hmm. as if by chance. If by chance you cut your finger by. The paper's edge. Yeah. If by chance,、that? have you occurred the event of cutting your finger with a piece of paper? Have you ever, if by chance, have you ever cut your finger on paper? Or had a paper cut?、Um, do you remember what kosho meant? No money. Hi. Kosho means pepper. What does kakata mean with this pepper? Sprinkle on. It's just pepper that sprinkle. Yeah, kakata to cover in a sprinkly kind of way. So if you cover this, the potato with、um, pepper. How about kakata with koto ga kakata tane? The shelf that was covered with coat. Yes. How about Kawa ni wa yami yobashi ga kakaru? Cover、uh, Darkness Bridge.、Mm. Uh, the bridge. It's to cover the river with the Darkness Bridge. The Darkness Bridge, bridge covers the river. Um, how about sato kake from kakeru? Only, only fan. Good guess. Kakeru is to cover again. So it's to be covered in sugar. The pie with a sh- covered in sugar. Sato kake. So what is the passive form of kakaru? Kakeru. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> You're not wrong、uh, in that that's like the transitive and transitive pair type idea. But what if we wanted to still make it that we have like a o and a ni going on, but we just wanted to, I mean, an o and a ga going on? We just wanted the ga and the o to switch, so we got a ga ni instead. What if we wanted to do that? Kakareru? <laughs> Hi, Kakareru. Oops. And、uh, let's go read this example sentence. I mean, the sentence from the book. I don't know why I say example. Uh, have you ever had the event of、uh, being transformed by the technique?、Uh, Who's the you? 
Yes. Um, is it possible? Yeah. Is it possible is that Bennett has bit has the magic the transformation spell casted on him before? Moshi so nara. If that is so, don't kimono ni. What kind of an animal? Henshi Istandaro. Was he turned into? Perfect. I wonder what animal he turned into if that was the case. Um, do you know how to read this word? Hayashi. No. Close. This Power. is toll. Power. Yeah. Toll. Perfect. How about hajimeru? What does that mean? Hajimeru started. Yeah, to start. How okay. about toshio? What does that mean? Hajimeru toshio. Toshio. It just started to begin. Yeah, basically we start to begin. Let's start from over there type of idea. So it's kind of funny of two starts in that sentence. What is the imperative form, order form of Iku to go? So go, Pikachu. You can't. Perfect. Um, let's go read this line from the book. Umude wa hachimeru toshi yo beneto mo ike. Uh, umu, uh, umu, I don't know. Dewa, it's just a, uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Type of word. Umu. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Dewa, well then. Uh, Hachimeru, begin. To begin. Toshio. Uh, the net will go. Yeah. The Hajime de Toshio, is, is that related to the Moike part? Yes. I couldn't tell from here. It is not related. So he's saying, okay, we're going to start, but net, get out of here. So the starting is the start is Neverdy and Khan. He's going to cast the spell on Khan, in other words. So he's saying, get out of here, Bennett. The spell is a me and Khan thing. Do you know what Niramu means? Niramu is to peak. Good guess. It is not to peak. That's Nozoku. Niramu, uh, Niramu is... is to glare. glare. What does Mitsumeru uh, mean? Mitsumeru yeah. is to glare. Mm, it's to gaze at. Lance would be like, Kirato. No, no, no. <laughs> no. How about Mieru? What does that mean? To be seen. To be seen. Yes. Interesting. Um, can you read this word for me? Yori Takate was lean. Hi. Perfect. How about this word? Uh, again. Bad mood. Perfect. Do you know what Mitsukete means from Mits uh Sorry, Nirami Tsukeru. Oh, Tsukeru is to attach Mitsukete. Hi. is to blend. Mira is Kirami. Ah, uh, forget. Mirami. From Niramu. The back. It is to glare. To glare, to glare. To I, glare I, at. So, so, can you read this word for me? Ichido. What does it mean? Ichido. One step. Perfect. One degree. And One what degree. does Nirami Ao mean? Nirami is the glare. Nirami Ao is the color glare. 
basically, yeah, it's to glare at each other. So, Benet wa te shita to nirami atteru. Benet and the minion are glaring at each other. Um, let's go read this line from the book. Benet wa mo ichido ore o nirami tsukete kara dette ita. The net gave one more um the net gave yet one more stare. What kind of stare? Ah, uh, a glare. He he gave yes, one yes. more glare and then exited. Perfect. <laughs> he left the room. Hi, hi. Shinken is a not adjective that means serious shinken, like a straight as a short sword. Um, can you read this word? Makitsusho. Perfect. What did shinken mean? Serious shinken. Hi. So how are you turn into seriously? Shinken na. Good guess. So that's an adjective. I want, uh, you're right. Um, the word there says adjective. I want the adverb. Adverb is sing can me. Perfect. Okay, let's go read the line from the book. Nebari wa table no kokoro e iki. Nebari when to the table, uh, uh, to the area of the table, uh, shibaraku. Shibaraku is like happy. Mm, it just means for a little bit. We have some time gap. Time phrase. Shibaraku for a little for a time. Majitsu show o shinken ni. Yonde da he read uh seriously. Hi, read what seriously? Uh, the, magic, the spell book. The magic Perfect. Spell. Let's go read the bolded phrase. Tarada o something yoku po chita. Yoku po chita. Iki oyoku, hi. Iki oyoku. 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 Iki uh, the home, 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 or Ikio Yoku Tokita. Oh, okay, I don't know money. Hi, so Tojiru is the hard part here. So there's two words in Japanese that are very similar Tojiru and Shimeru. Oops, Shimeru. Does the kanji look familiar? Hi. Hi. So the difference between these two words is that one of them is when you close it, you're unable to use it anymore. The other version is closing it means you are using it. So shimeru, something you would shimeru would be a door, right? Because you close a door, it's doing its job. It's being a door. That's the whole entire reason why you have a door, so you can close it. If you close a book, does that mean you're able to read the book? Is the book doing its job when it's closed? No, it's not doing its job. So because of that, we say tojiru rather than shimeru. So another thing you probably told you to do might be like an umbrella. I believe that's the difference. If I'm wrong, whoopsie daisies. <laughs> so I should double check it again. But yeah, they both mean to close. And he's closing a book. So the book was open, he's closing it. How is he closing the book? Is he just softly closing it, afraid it might break? Or is he vigorously closing it, throwing it across the room? I don't want to read this book no more. How is he closing the book? 
he vigorously, he violently so, so, so. did it. He's violently closing this door, book, throwing it across the room. Do you know what tsubuyaka means? Tsubuyaka is to mutter. Yeah, to mutter. Perfect. Hi, hi, hi. Um, can you read this phrase for me? Tankachi de tama o fuita. I wipe my nose with a handkerchief. Perfect. Okay, let's go read the line from the book. Soste. Soste to to e. De nan ka tsu. ぶやくと。おこよく。いきおよく。あ、本を閉じ。ハンカチで花を。窓を閉じようとり出していたことを閉じにこいあんそしてここへ。he's Tsubayaku, he in a mutter, he, he mutters yeah. something. In a small boy, mm -hmm. voice, he mutters um, something. Perfect. And immediately afterwards, he is ki oi yoke a home or toji. He closes the book uh, in a very uh, violent way. Hi. Uh, Hankachi day with the handkerchief. He puki hana. He he um he wipes the nose. And oketo kara from his pocket, he tori dashte. He he grab and he pulls out the magic the magical stone. Uh, ita. And he did it in the past. Uh, and then he says, Kozo, Kosimi Koi, boy, come this way. Perfect. Do, 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 do. do you remember how to read this word? I see him. Perfect. Seriously. And apparently, the difference between told you do and shime do is that told you do feels more like a final closing. So he's closing the book, and the idea is that he's not opening it again, hence why he's so aggressively closing it. It's like, okay, this book is done, it is closed, feeling, versus Shimeru is more just like closed in general, I guess. Apparently that's the difference. I guess I was wrong. Sorry. Um, do you know what tekoto means? Like, toyukoto? Tekoto is the thing, the event, the event. That um, Hi. where the where the action occurs, the event Hi. and the action occurs. So yeah, the event is being def defined as something. In this context specifically, um, somebody Bennett has done some kind of action. That action, that event, is being defined as having this meaning, which is nevri ni ocho um which is go bring tea to nevri. That is what um, having um, Bennett glare at the main character and point upstairs after pouring a cup of tea. That was the translation of that, of actions, of that event. Um, can you read this word for me? Soshi, Soshi, Kirai, Kirai. Yep, Skoshi Itai. What does that mean? Skoshi. A little bit is um uh, itai is the um 
Words. Itta, ta, 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 ta. Itta, ta, ta. Hai, itai, pain. Do you happen to know what tamari means? Tamari is a um, it, it's not a festival, is it? Tamari means in short, it's used to summarize something in summary. Tamari. In other words. Can you read this in example sentence words. for me? Tamari koshidake ko um the mother uh in other words the only a little bit is painful so it's going to be in pain for a little bit yep only going to be pain for a little bit perfect uh let's skip that can you read this word for me um Hara Hachira is it? It's in Sakara. Sakara is it? Hi. Sakara is it? So without doing Sakara, Sakara oh, means is... to disobey. So without being able to disobey, sakaraizu. Sakara, sakarairu, sakaraizu. Um, what did sakarao mean? Obey. Sakarao is to obey. To go against, to disobey. So here it says, without being able to disobey. Disobey. What is the negative form of sakarao to not disobey? Uh, shikara is the negative form is shikara nai. Hai, sakara wa nai. Hai. Um, sakara wa nai. Can you read this example sentence? My kitchen. My kitchen is Sakara wa Nakereba Nara Nanda Shinni Taki Nai Kara. I am a Christian Sakara wa Nai to return the Nakereba Nakereba to return. I'm sorry, Mani. Can do it. Hi. So first we have na kereba naranai, which is it will not become if we do not. Which in English is normally translated as what? I must. We must. Hi. I must sakara. Uh, turn, turn, turn around. Hi. To disobey. To, to betray, to go against. Go against the, what? What uh, must I go against? The magicians. Hi, it's the not magicians, magicians, it's magic spells. A magician magic is spell. a master of magic spells. Hi, hmm. so why should I not, why, why should I go against the magic spell? Uh, because I will not die. Uh, what does uh, takunai mean? Takunai is the past form of... Uh, negative form, form of tai. Form. So this shinitai. I want to die, so I don't want to die. I just didn't hear the want in your thing. So, because I don't want to die, I have to um, go against the magical spell. I have to resist the magic spell. What did tekoto mean? Tekoto is the event. That had to mean. Uh, yes, to define uh, event or action. 
What is the volational form of suck it out? So it turns into, I'm going to betray, I'm going to disobey. Hi, hi, hi. Do you know how to read this word? Um, Siki. Yep, ya Siki. Ya Siki. Hi, hi. Um, do you know what kanari means? Like kanari ripa no ya Siki? Kanari? Kanari. Really, or something. Really. Kanari ripa no. Really, really stand out, or something like that. Really, uh, that's cool. Yeah, exactly. Really or very. Perfect. Can you read this example sentence for me? Kanari o Makitsu ni hara hara tara Kanari tomu um, so what is this thing? Mommy, right? uh, to go against the magic cell. Yes. Uh, if you go against the magic cell, it will itamu. From itai, just a verb. Uh, it will be painful. Yes. How painful? Kanari. Kanari is Hi. somewhat. It's actually yeah. a lot. A lot. Super painful. If you Kanari go against the magic, it's really going to hurt. Bad. Do you know what Kamau means? Kamau, no money. Hi, Kamau means to um, care about something. So normally you'll hear it as a negative form to mean as if I care about that. I'm probably going to have right there. Yep, Kamau Monka is a, a slur from it from Kamau One Night. Also shows up Kamau One Night. But here's Kamau Monka, which is literally just as if I care. Basically, caring as if. Um, which is going to be here, right? Kawamonka. As if I care about that. So let's go read the line from the book. This will be our last line of the day. Ore wa nebari no mae ni tatta. I stand in front of nebari. Ma jitsu ni. Kawara Hara 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 Oto Suruna Sakara Oto Suruna Sakara Oto Suruna I'm gonna go against uh, the magic spell. Hi. And na a lot of the times turn this into a negative statement. So it says I will not uh, go against the magical spell. In the context, it's actually you. Um, so you do not decide. You do not say, I'm going to go go against the magic. Do not do that. That is a no-no, is what he says. Um, uh, it's only a little bit of pain. Hi. Uh, only hurt a little. Sumari kanari koite koto da. In other words, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of pain. Kanari. Kanari? Why did we not use skoshi if it's a little bit? Uh, Kanari is gonna be fairly. Sugoku. Sugoku itai te koto. So, in other words, a lot of pain. It's gonna hurt a lot. Hi, hi. It's gonna hurt a lot. Demo, kamao, mo, ita. But, uh, however, I had to protect it. I had to come out. 
Uh, no, Kamau Monka means as if I care. As if I care. Hi. But as if I care. Perfect. Hi. Yep. So, yep. I stand in front of Nevery, and Nevery goes, Don't you dare go against the magic. It's, but it is going to hurt a little bit. And then Kong goes, Well, that means it's going to hurt a lot. But pff, as if I care, I can handle pain. I got big boy pants on. <laughs>